Unlike the structured and geometric styles of modern gardens, cottage gardens celebrate a more charming, informal, and folksy approach. In this episode, we dive into the heart of cottage garden flowers, the stars that bring life to this timeless style. Imagine a canvas painted in the style of Munnet, dotted with soft hues, varying heights, and clusters of frothy blooms. That's the essence of a cottage garden. This garden design is all about natural beauty and romance. It's characterized by soft textures, overflowing borders, and a harmonious blend of flowers and herbs. Each plant in a cottage garden plays its part in creating a tranquil, storybook-like space. Join us as we explore 10 traditional flowers and herbs that embody the spirit of cottage gardens and learn how you can bring this romantic, nature-filled style to your own backyard. Let's begin with hollyhocks, or althea, the quintessential cotage garden plant. Picture the Cotswolds with tall spires of hollyhock flowers towering above quaint garden walls. Versatile and stunning, hollyhocks can be annuals, biennials, or perennials. They're often grown as biennials, fitting well into various garden styles. Collecting and sowing their seeds in late summer or autumn is easy and rewarding, perfect for gardeners who enjoy a hands-on approach. With their impressive height and old-world charm, Hollyhocks are essential for adding vertical interest and a touch of tradition to your cottage garden. Next up is English Lavender or Lavendula, a staple in cottage gardens for its delightful aroma and colorful blooms. This fragrant plant spills beautifully out of garden borders and containers, available in shades of blue, pink, and purple. English Lavender is more than just visually appealing, it's known for its soothing scent and was historically used in herbal remedies. Its dried flowers also served as a natural moth deterrent in homes. As a hardy perennial, English lavender is easy to maintain and can last for years in your garden. A simple trim of the dead flowers in late summer keeps it bushy and healthy, ensuring your garden is graced with its calming presence year after year. Let's focus on delphiniums, an essential part of the cottage garden. Known for their tall spires, they're often used to add height and color at the back of garden borders. Their striking blue and purple blooms bring vibrancy and depth. Delphiniums might need some support, like bamboo canes, to help them stand tall. These perennials will beautify your garden for years, offering a long-term display. For the best care, divide your delphiniums every four years. This encourages new growth and keeps them healthy ensuring they continue to enhance your garden with their stunning flowers. Next, we explore the common peony, or Paeonia officinalis. A traditional favorite in cottage gardens, the common peony is known for its large, bowl-shaped pink flowers and delightful fragrance. Even with the introduction of new varieties, the classic appeal of the common peony endures. While their blooming period might be shorter than some other plants, the beauty and scent of their flowers are truly captivating, making them a must-have in any garden. For optimal growth, peonies thrive in sunny spots. They're perennials, so they'll return each year to reward your care with stunning blooms. By planting peonies in a sunny location, you ensure these cottage garden classics continue to enhance your garden with their beauty and fragrance for years to come. Let's explore sage, also known as salvia officinalis, a cherished herb in cottage gardens. Sage has been a versatile plant for centuries, used both in cooking and traditional medicine. Today, various salvia cultivars bring color to gardens. For example, summer jewel in soft pink and flare in bright red not only add beauty but also attract butterflies. Caring for sage is easy. As a perennial shrub, it benefits from regular deadheading to encourage more blooms. Plant it in well-drained soil and a sunny spot, similar to its native Mediterranean environment. This simple care ensures a healthy plant with plenty of flowers and aromatic leaves, making sage a staple in cottage gardens for its fragrance, medicinal properties, and vibrant colors. Next in our cottage garden series are the delightful sweet peas, known botanically as Lathyrus. A classic favorite, sweet peas journeyed from Sicily to British gardens back in 1699 and have since become a beloved staple in cottage-style plantings. As a member of the pea family, sweet peas are vining plants, often grown along bamboo canes to support their graceful ascent. Their charm lies not just in their climbing habit, but also in their incredible fragrance and sweet scent, 
which fills the garden with an enchanting aroma. The flowers of sweet peas with their long stems are perfect for creating stunning cut flower arrangements, bringing the beauty of the garden indoors. While the seeds are not edible, they can be easily collected at the end of the season for sowing next year, making sweet peas a gift that keeps on giving. Now we turn to stalks also known as Mathiola, a beloved plant in cottage gardens for centuries. Renowned for their sweet fragrance and role as excellent cut flowers, stalks have long been a gardener's favorite. Ideal for containers or border planting near windows, stalks' fragrance drifts on the breeze, bringing the garden's aroma indoors. Their versatility is a key feature, available as half-hardy annuals for summer blooms or as biennials for flowering the following spring. Stalks are more than just colorful flowers, they add a rich aromatic layer to the garden. Perfect for creating a welcoming and scented space, they're essential for a traditional cottage garden that values both beauty and fragrance. Let's focus on the foxglove, or digitalis, a captivating addition to cottage gardens, particularly suited for shady areas. Despite being toxic, foxgloves have a rich history in medicinal use. Today's gardens feature a variety of foxgloves, including the classic Digitalis purpurea, known for its stunning magenta flowers that bees adore. These varieties offer a range of colors and heights, perfect for adding diversity to your garden. Foxgloves are generally biennial or perennial, though they don't typically have a long lifespan. Encouraging reflowering is easy, just deadhead them after their initial bloom. They often self-seed, ensuring their continued presence in your garden year after year. With their tall, bell-shaped flowers, foxgloves bring a sense of wildness and charm to cottage gardens, creating a picturesque and bee-friendly environment. Turning our attention now to pot marigolds or calendula officinalis, we find one of the most quintessential flowers of the traditional cottage garden. Originating as a medicinal herb in Europe, pot marigolds quickly became a staple in these informal, charming gardens. Known for their healing properties, they were used to make salves for scratches, burns, and spots, and even brewed into a floral tea to improve circulation. One of the best things about pot marigolds is their ease of growth. They are incredibly simple to cultivate, making them an ideal plant for introducing young children to the joys of gardening. With their bright, cheerful flowers, they not only add beauty to the garden, but also offer a wonderful way to engage the next generation of gardeners. Pot marigolds bring a splash of color and a piece of herbal history to the cottage garden, embodying the essence of these traditional spaces with their practical uses and charming appearance. As we wrap up our tour of cottage garden plants, let's admire Canterbury Bells or Campanula. These classic British garden flowers, with their bell-shaped blooms, perfectly capture the cottage garden's whimsical essence. Canterbury bells are a favorite for bees and are known for their role in producing sweet honey. They come in a variety of forms, from low mats to taller spires, consistently blooming in shades of lilac blue, pastel purple, or white. These delicate flowers add a touch of enchantment to any garden. These plants are fairly easy to care for, being either annual or perennial. Regular deadheading after the summer bloom promotes a second flowering period, ensuring a prolonged display of their charming bells. And that brings us to the end of our delightful journey through 10 traditional cottage garden flowers and herbs. We hope this tour has inspired you to add some of these enchanting plants to your own garden, transforming it into a space filled with color, fragrance, and a touch of history. If you enjoyed our stroll through these cottage garden favorites, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more gardening insights. Also, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming garden adventures. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to sharing more gardening tips and tricks with you. Until next time, happy gardening!